next on Good Taste. It's showtime. Get ready. Whoa. Great Texas tunes are just the appetizer on this menu, featuring a burger like no other. I don't know where to begin. I really don't. Now, the countdown is on for a record-setting burger bonanza. Can this guy really eat the whole thing? 306! 306! Plus, this place may have a quirky name, but they're serious about bringing home the bacon. A lot of my friends are meat lovers, so they're going to like this place. We'll show you why four chefs are better than one. Fantastic. You're in for a spicy surprise when you visit this award-winning Houston restaurant. There's a lot of spice going on in those yes. chairs. It's a fusion of flavors you're going to savor. Good Taste starts right now. Welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. What's the best hamburger you've ever tasted? I don't know about you, but I love a big, juicy burger, dripping with gooey cheese, laced with mayo, mustard, maybe throw on some grilled jalapenos, even bacon. One that you want to dive into, even if you're on the strictest of diets. Well, we think we found the perfect one. In fact, it's so good, you're about to meet a man who's eaten one of these burgers for over 300 Saturdays in a row. This is a spot that holds a very special place in my heart for a lot of reasons. The burger is just one. There's always a good time happening at Fry High Country Store. We're dog friendly, kid friendly, everything friendly. I love it. Look at how airy it is. Their formula for success is pretty simple. Like the sign out front says, burgers, fries, and live music. It's a place to check your diet at the door, cut loose, and feast on all your favorites. How would you describe Fry Heights to someone who hasn't been here before? It's an old, I don't know, almost like an old soul that we try to continue in that direction. I love that. It's like an old soul. This isn't our first time at Fry Heights. We visited this family-owned spot back in 2017, meeting the unforgettable, larger-than-life owner who made us feel right at home. Thank you, ma'am. Fry Heights has grown leaps and bounds since then, with some big changes also happening around here. Talk about a guy with heart and soul. This has had to have been a challenging year for you. It's been tough, yeah. Sadly, Cody's dad, affectionately known as Big Mike, passed away in 2020. And while Mike is sorely missed, his family has taken Fry Height to new heights and honoring his memory and paying tribute to the man with the big heart who made Fry Height what it is today. He's smiling now. Oh, no. No doubt, no doubt. This historic wood hut puts Southern comfort food front and center. If anyone should know, it's this guy, possibly Fry Heights' biggest fan. This is one of the nicest human beings I've ever met in my life. For over 300 Saturdays in a row, Vic Donsbach has gone to quite an extreme, eating the Fry Height Extreme Burger. What in the world gave you the idea to have that burger every week? It all kind of started as a joke. And just jokingly, I said, when I get to 100, I'm going to get my picture on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and so. And you did. Even during the pandemic, Vic never missed a Saturday. This is Vic's 300, 306. <laughs> now you know why I come back every week for this. Absolutely. It's that good. Even after all those burgers, it's still good to the last bite. You're almost there. We're down at the finish line. Yes, you are. 306! 306! I won't need anything to eat till Tuesday. <laughs> I'll probably take two bites of it, and like I'm full. Maybe two onion rings, and I'm done. <laughs> that is way cool. The signature burger, right? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. With all the mushrooms on it. All the good stuff, right? Jalapenos, mushrooms, onions, and of course, bacon. Whoa, it's 
Those are fun. Massive. Treats. Just as beautiful as I remembered it. Yes, ma'am. Nothing beats an awesome burger. The colossal patio and playground filled with fun and games make this family-friendly spot shine. It's huge out here. Is there anybody out there want to have a cold beer? Kick it to the morning light. I love it where you just kick back. Well, I ain't got no hair, but let my hair down, you know? <laughs> here, you can take in a ton of tunes from real Nashville stars to Lone Star up-and-comers. And while Big Mike kept Freiheit as a tribute to his late daughter, Sonny, today, it stands as a celebration of both their spirits. Some places touch you more than others. This place always touched me well before his sad oh, yeah. passing. I want his legacy to continue. He loved this place. I'm proud of what he did. When you come here, everyone's in a great mood, you know? It's that's, a happy place. That's how my dad was. When he walked in, he filled the room up, you know, and everybody gravitated towards him. You could tell he had a heart of gold. Oh, he did, yeah. He would help out anybody at any time. Good man, very good man. Uh, we became real good friends. It's like every Saturday when I'm sitting here eating that burger, he's sitting there with me. Aw, some great memories with yeah. that. As Big Mike used to say. Everybody comes out here, they're part of our Freiheit family. And that extended family just keeps growing and growing. The special place that's touched so many hearts is still the heartbeat of the community. It's just an awesome place to come to. It's just like a little piece of Texas heaven. So, congrats Thank on you. your success and many, 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 another hundred years. Thank you very much. Coming up. It's a great restaurant, a great atmosphere. Meet a chef whose creative cooking has really made a splash. And her food is fabulous. But up next, we've got wine finds and more from this trendy spot. Right, it's not too sweet. A slurpee for adults. Dinner is served next. Cisco, at the heart of food and service. Welcome back. It's no surprise that Irving, Texas boasts a spot that's home to legendary wines and eats. After all, America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, called Irving home for four decades. Today's legendary team includes four talented chefs who came together crafting a delicious menu and fantastic wine list that's delighting diners all across the state. With a name like Cork and Pig Tavern, you better believe they bring the bacon. From decadent, double-cut pork chops to pancetta-loaded pizzas, this is a place where it's really easy to pig out. I ordered the pig, which I was a little hesitant about, <laughs> just because of the name. But as you can see, I've had no problems. <laughs> These perfectly crusted, hand-tossed pizzas are what put cork and pig on the map. Everybody watch out! Woo! <laughs> we snagged the recipe for one of their most heavenly pies, but this scratch kitchen is serving up a whole lot more than that. Keep it light with a colorful salad, or go big with their crispy chicken sandwich topped with Brussels sprout slaw. The chicken sandwich I had last week, that was excellent. But it's a bit of a gut bomb, so I had to take a nap that afternoon. And if you're really feeling sinful, dig in to their famous Fruity Pebbles French Toast, topped with French vanilla ice cream. When I feel like having a cheat day, <laughs> it's worth that's it. what I go for, totally. You might recognize Chef Virginia Dahlback from Hell's Kitchen, but she actually stirs up a whole lot more around this kitchen. That's because she handles the cork portion of Cork and Pig, curating the fabulous wine list. This is our half rosé, half mimosa, and people love it. Ooh, that's good. Right, it's not too sweet. A slurpee for adults. Yes. <laughs> this is one place where too many cooks in the kitchen don't spoil anything. After all, two chefs are better than one. So, 
How about four? Now you guys all met working at a restaurant some years back. We all met at Hillstone Restaurant Group about 20 years ago, and we all ended up coming back together about 10 years later and opening of our own restaurant together. The original location in San Angelo kind of has a fun backstory too, right? Yeah, our um, original location in San Angelo started in a gas station. Our kitchen was literally in um, the garage, and that's where our pizza oven was. It was right over like a hub where like old oil used to be poured in. Why San Angelo? Our business partner, Philippe, is from there. His family has a restaurant there, and we thought it was a great opportunity to start in a small town where the, his name was already established. Kind of a quick jump start, right? Yes, that's what launched us, and then we just grew from there. From a tiny gas station in San Angelo to this bright and airy bistro in Irving, Cork and Pig Tavern has expanded across the state, and Texans are eating it up. A lot of my friends are meat lovers, so they're going to like this place more. But don't worry, veggie friends, we didn't forget about you. What is in that sauce? Because this pizza is delicious. Well, I'm going to tell you a couple ingredients, cream and garlic, and that's all I'm going to tell you. What more do you need? <laughs> this California-inspired vegetarian pizza is topped with fontina, mozzarella, and fresh tomatoes all baked at a rip-roaring 550 degrees. You want to try it? Yeah. Uh, okay, so the key is getting under the dough. And kind of jerk it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then just like, you jerk it again. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. Baked to bubbling perfection and finished off with toppings so fresh, you won't even miss the bacon. Cheers! With this rich cheese, cheers. Mm. Mm. It's so good. So whether you're in the mood for a boozy brunch, a healthy lunch, or an over-the-top fantastic dinner, you've come to the right spot. With multiple locations across the state, chances are there's a cork and pig tavern near your neck of the woods. Well, it's in the wine, it's in the food, and the ambiance, it's awesome. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Congrats, what a great spot. Thanks. Hope you're hungry for a gourmet meal that comes together in no time and it's really healthy too. I'm with Claire Souls in the John Souls Foods Kitchen and we are making a delicious spaghetti squash and the reason it's so easy and good, we're using John Souls Foods grilled chicken breast strips, right? Yes, so this is a fully cooked product so all we're gonna do is heat it back up and add it to the dish and then we're done. Okay, what do we do Claire? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is oil our spaghetti squash. Really delicious, really healthy. A great alternative to pasta. Oh, it really is. And then we're going to salt and pepper the insides. And then we're gonna flip them over. We're gonna let that bake for like 35 to 40 minutes. So the first thing we're gonna do is fry up some bacon. So you know it's gonna be good when it has bacon. Everything's always better with bacon. <laughs> right. Once you have the bacon cooked and you have all like the bacon grease in there, we're gonna go ahead and add our grilled chicken breast strips which are already cooked, so this comes together really quickly. Yes, yeah, so this is just heating this back up. Add some spinach and add our cheese. Mozzarella? Yes. Some Greek yogurt as well. And if you don't have Greek yogurt, you could probably use sour cream. Greek yogurt's just a great alternative. I agree. And then I just flipped our spaghetti squash and we're gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven. And you can see it's like nice and roasty. Just take a fork and you're kind of scraping at it and it creates beautiful, almost like pasta-like yeah. strings. So easy. All right, so our next step is to add our chicken mixture to our spaghetti squash boats. Okay. Top it with a little bit of cheese, and then we're gonna put it back in the oven to get it nice and bubbly. All right. And we can Looks go ahead great. and add some fresh basil. Mm, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Creamy and rich, and it's yogurt, not sour cream. It's delicious. Thank you. We've got the recipe online. Those spaghetti squash boats were so good. If you're looking for some great pans to cook with this season, these thermaloys are incredible. They're from Mission Restaurant Supply. Coming up, some fruity finds right for the season in my wine finds. But first, a culinary journey to the Far East in the heart of the Bayou City. That is so good. We've got a bite for you next. 
We'd love to share good taste. Head to our website at goodtaste.tv where you'll find delicious recipes from top chefs, my latest wine finds, and restaurant recommendations. Plus, you can see all of our episodes right here. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter while you're there. Good Taste with Tangie is brought to you in part by HEB. Bubbling tikka masala. Fantastic. Blazing tandoori chicken. Is this like the Indian version of paella? It is Indian version of paella, exactly. Rich and colorful curries. These are the bold, beautiful, intoxicating flavors of India. I love Indian food. Served in a glittering contemporary H-Town space with a comfy bar and sensational wine selection. Here the owner just might surprise you at the table with a smile and a tray of samosas because here you're at Karen's. I love Karen's. It's a great restaurant, great atmosphere. The flavors at Kieran's leap off the plate. A vibrant veggie-filled playground of both traditional Indian favorites with classic curries, kadis, paneer, and rice. Paired with the centuries-old craft of tandoori oven baking. You got it, you got control. I'm just gonna scrape it down. With, of course, warm and crispy homemade naan. That's good naan. That is so good. Sink your teeth into this fork tender lamb shank. Slow braised for six hours in a tomato curry sauce. Plated on a bed of fenugreek, similar to spinach. Snuggled up to alu methi roasted potatoes. Garnished with juicy pomegranates. Mumbai, meet New Orleans in this shrimp and grits with a tandoori twist. Roasted jumbo gulf tiger prawns plated with creamy Indian ukma and New Orleans-style pickled okra. And a nifty nosher we couldn't stop nibbling. The Palak Chat with kale, basil, and spinach leaves lightly battered and fried tempura style. Then sprinkled with masala spice, a drizzle of mint and apple chutney, then yogurt, all garnished with pomegranate seeds and kumquats. How did you decide to open a restaurant? Totally out of insanity. <laughs> And a lot of the recipes in the restaurant today, you say, come from? From my grandmother and my aunts. Family was the inspiration for this talented chef who started her first restaurant when she was only 22. You've never been formally trained no. as a chef. No, I have not been. Self-taught? Self-taught chef completely. And I was always very fond of uh, like throwing parties at home. Quite an accomplishment for a woman many now consider the godmother of Indian cooking in Houston. People just loved Indian food in that form. It was more like a home style cooking and it was almost like recreating a home kitchen into a restaurant. That's been going on for more than 20 years. Yes, it is. The snapper. Knowledge Kieran now shares with young chefs. It's an energy you can feel in every dish like this gorgeous beet and pistachio encrusted goat cheese salad. This one, you can prepare at home. Kieran uses three different types of beets, all roasted in the tandoori oven. These have been poached in red wine. For garnish, more of Kieran's favorites, kumquats and pomegranates. So I've just made this canal of goat cheese with uh -huh. rosemary and uh, pink peppercorns. Pink peppercorns. Yes. That goat cheese is coated in pistachios. Sweet sautéed cashews are added for crunch, along with another drizzle of dressing and a few more pink peppercorns. There's a lot of spice going on in those yes. pears. An incredible fusion of flavors straight from the heart with a passion you can taste. Not even one day I have felt like, should I be doing something else? Wow. I have loved every day of this work I do. Her food is fabulous, but she and her staff are what makes the place. Coming back because I love it. Get your glass ready. Time for my wine finds. At first, Think outside your comfort zone and go for a refreshing wine that pairs with a variety of foods. This is the Pierre Spar Riesling Grand Reserve, 
lovely flavors of peach, a hint of grapefruit, and a trace of minerality. It's perfect for that chicken on your grill or maybe even your favorite sushi. The Pierre Spar Riesling Grand Reserve is about $15 a bottle. Up next, a slam dunk, for real. The wine by the same name is a luscious mouthful of dark fruit like plums, blackberries, and boysenberries. The grapes are Petite Syrah and Zinfandel, perfect for anything on your grill. This wine would also be delightful with a piece of dark chocolate. If you like the Prisoner wine, you will love this wine. It's half the price at only about $13.98 a bottle. Stock up now while it's at that price. Up next, another big time red, this one a Cabernet. The Y3 Cabernet from Jack's Vineyards in Napa. This is a delicious cab with flavors of plums, cassis, and hints of cedar and vanilla. The Jack's Y3 cab is only about $17.98 a bottle, but it drinks like a wine that costs twice that much. This is a fun find. As always, I found all my wines right here at my HEB. When visiting Houston, the Good Taste team loves to stay at the beautiful Royal Sinesta. We've got plenty of ways to help satisfy your appetite for good taste. Just visit our website at goodtaste.tv to see a huge list of restaurants to choose from. Also, you'll find the great recipe from today's show there too. As always, you can follow us on social media on Instagram and Facebook at Good Taste TV. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you right here again next week. Cheers to good taste. Ooh, that's good. Thank you. You know, truly, it reminds me of my grandmother's deviled eggs until I get to the bacon and the chipotle. And then you feel like it's a little bit... Elevated. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs>